Every time. I want to explain to you some of the features of this new TX6000 by Trax Power Dollies. My name is Wayne Axelson, and I'm one of the developers of it. Um, we looked at some other power dollies on the market and decided there was room for improvement. So this is what we came up with. First thing we have, when you connect your trailer, on a trailer you have electric brakes and some trailers have a surge brake system. This one does not, but on some trailers they have a system in here that when the trailer is pushing on the tongue of, the, of your car or towing vehicle, too much weight on the trailer wants it to automatically apply brakes through this surge mechanism. To alleviate that with a power dolly, we need to send a signal down the trailer wire to shut those brakes off when we're pushing backwards on it. So what we do here in this little control connection, we have power for backup lights for surge brakes, and then we also have power for electric brakes that are on the trailer. So to demonstrate how this works, I actually have a little tester here. And this thing shows an LED light for backup light, which would be the surge light, and then also a brake light. So if I plug this in here, and I turn the power on the unit, you can see right away, we've got power going to the backup lights, which would disengage any surge brakes. And we also have power going to the electric brakes on the trailer. When I start to drive the unit, by pushing the throttle here, you will see right away that the electric brakes shut off, but the backup light stays on. And then when I stop, the electric brakes engage on the trailer again. So that's a great safety feature. So if you're parked on an incline, your electric brakes will hold the trailer. But the unit itself has an onboard braking system in the motor. So if you come around and look underneath here, you will see there's a brake disengage handle. If I go down, that disengages the brakes. If I go up, that electrically locks the brakes. So again, when I put the throttle on, you'll hear a little click noise, and that's disengaging the brakes. So I'm gonna let go again. If I push the throttle now, that little click is the onboard braking in the unit itself shutting off. There's enough power in this unit to hold a 6,000 pound trailer on a 10 degree incline or a 10% grade without the machine rolling. This is our ball stand. It's a patent pending design. We have it where you can easily incorporate any size ball depending on your trailer. So any normal ball thread with a one inch shaft will thread right into it. And then you'll see that this outer sleeve slides up and down on a um, hydraulic bottle jack. And what it does is it pushes up tight to the tongue of your trailer. Um, it's all very clean. There's no grease on anything, so you don't get any dirty grease on your clothes. This thing goes in, just drops in here, and you'll see it pivots freely around in that little stand. So this is the simple part that allows you to connect safely to your trailer without any damage to the underside of your trailer. Another thing we've incorporated is we have a heavy-duty castering tailwheel. So on the back of the machine, you can see this tailwheel spins around, but it's also a solid filled tire so it handles a lot of weight back here and what that does with some of the other machines on the market when you drive up your trailer to connect to it um, they typically sit lower and so when you get to it you've got to lift up the back of the machine and hold it so that you can get this ball stand square to the tongue of your trailer so I'm gonna uh, when you drive up to your machine and on some things you need to hold it up and hold that square while you do your jack. It's almost a two-person job. Where ours, with this tail wheel, basically holds the machine in a level attitude to the trailer. One thing I want to mention is that the shape that we have of this jack pad that goes up against the tongue of the trailer, it will accommodate the majority of trailers on the market. But the undersized shape of some of your trailer tongues is a little bit different depending on the model of your trailer. So we do make custom adapter plates that will go on here so it matches up perfectly with the underside of your trailer. But once you're in place, you just drop it down.
We're going to flip the latch on the tongue of our trailer over. Make sure this nut is tightened up here. And then we just jack it up. And you'll see this comes right up tight. And it secures itself now. It becomes one with the tongue of the trailer. And that's it. You're ready to move your trailer. Easy. We've also incorporated into this unit a variable speed motor with a motor controller and a variable speed thumb throttle. What that does is it allows us to have a nice gradual soft start and a slow down and a soft stop rather than a hard jerking on the trailer so it's not going to cause any damage to your expensive equipment. So you can see here as I begin, I just put a little bit of pressure on the throttle and this thing will just creep nice and slowly. And the more I push, the faster we're going to go. And I can travel up to 222 feet a minute with this thing. And then when I come, I can reduce my thumb, do a nice gradual stop, let go. The automatic parking brake engages and we're all set. Nice. Another feature that is included in the throttle is a forward and reverse button right here. So you'll see, if I push, I'm backing my trailer up right now. I come to a stop, all I do is I push that button in, and now I am in reverse, and I'm going the other direction. So we also have on this machine two switches here. We have a power switch, and when that comes on, you'll see some lights here on the battery indicator that gives you a visual indication that the power is on. And we also have a fast, slow switch. So in the up position, that's the full 222 feet per minute of travel which we can vary right down to a crawl. But we also, when we go in the slow position, in our motor controller, we've limited it to a 20% power. So when you get in tight to a building or in confined areas where you don't want any unexpected accelerations, in the slow mode, we only go to a 48 foot per minute speed.